Hey everyone, I'm Danny, and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. In this video, I'm doing a little bit of investigating. I think I found an Etsy seller who is stealing my work. Actually, I know I found an Etsy seller who is stealing my work because I spoke with them. They had like over 20 items on their shop that used my templates. Argued with this guy back and forth and back and forth for days, weeks even, and he finally started taking this stuff down and he said he was going to design his own templates and put the stuff back up. And it's just very shady. This is a very shady person, a very shady Etsy shop. And I wanted to get to the bottom of this and find out if he's still selling my stuff, even though he said he's not. So I had a secret shopper go and purchase or actually I purchased this and had it shipped to a secret shopper and then they then forwarded it to me. So now I have in my hands definitive proof if this person is selling my stuff or not, let's find out. I just want to thank the secret shopper who actually made this possible and helped me get this uh, to my PO box. And I've got, I've got all the things that I ordered over here. These are my creations using my templates so we're gonna compare them to what they have in here. So let's get this thing open and see what they stole. Oh, it's a package within a package. Let's see, the first thing I see here is a quibbler. Here we go. So I did order this quibbler. Now, I also designed a quibbler that looks strikingly the same as this, let's see. Here's my version and there's their version. Let's take this out of the bag so we don't have any shine on it. And let's do a close-up comparison here. Other than the colors, look at that. It, can anyone say that is not exactly the same? Look at the little like uh, worn parts, the little like spots and stuff. It's exactly the same. And I know it's mine because I put that texture there. That is a texture that I put there. So this person is 100% lying and using my artwork for profit. Let's take a look on the inside. This should be good. Oh, look at that. I created this entire design here. So this is theirs. And here's mine. I mean, this, okay, this person flat out lied to me at least three or four months ago, had thousands of sales, made tons of money off of my work. I created this entire thing. This is a, from my own imagination here. I designed all of this. These are all my designs. None of this is a replica of a movie prop. It's my designs. Also, patrons helped me write this. So not only is he stealing from me, he's stealing the creative writing from other people who generously donated it to me to give away for free for this project. At one point they asked me for a list. They're like, what, what's yours? Tell me, as if they didn't know. So I gave them the list. There's the list of everything of mine that they were selling for sure because they had product photos. So after I sent them that list, their response was, I downloaded templates from Pinterest, DeviantArt, and other platforms. I selected the ones I liked the most. Now, whether it's your work or not, I downloaded them without copyright guidance. I didn't even know you as an artist. Sure you didn't, after having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 plus items of my design on your Etsy shop and this person's trying to tell me, oh, I didn't know you as an artist. Give me a break. I will first provide you with the links from where they were downloaded and then delete the products you tell me to be your own creation. Have some patience and I will solve the problem soon. I have to do all the checks of chocolate or the jelly box. <laughs> you can find hundreds of them on Etsy. I greet you in the meantime, very soon. Yes, you can find hundreds of other people's replicas online, but you used only mine on your shop. This guy's an idiot. There's no way this person downloaded all these images 
from Pinterest or DeviantArt because it doesn't exist there. It's a PDF file that is on my website. I mean, you gotta log in to download this stuff. And let's see if he changed anything in the back. Oh, look at that. That little son of a bitch. This is a free download from Wizardry Workshop. If you paid for this, <laughs> report the seller to me and I've got my contact info there. It's plain what they did here because if you look at theirs, look what they did there. They replaced it with this guy and it says realized by La Posta del Gufo, their Etsy shop. That's not true. This person didn't do any of this design work except for replacing my text with this. They also removed my name right down here. See that? See that big blank spot right there? Look at this. See that? By Danny at Wizardry Workshop. So this person not only is stealing, they're knowingly stealing and trying to take credit for the art. Unbelievable. As unbelievable. What else have we got in here? Ah, here we go. There's the Quidditch campsite map. And here's my Quidditch campsite map. I think we're gonna have a recurring theme here. The design work is a recreation from Mina Lima's designs for the movie props. I did painstakingly go in here and match fonts and, and recreate a lot of these elements myself, but the way it's laid out and everything, that is Mina Lima stuff. However, I always make small changes to mine so that I can, you know, I can identify them. Look at this texture. This is, I always do my own textures. See that? That's mine right there. Look at this. The textured, like, uh, worn parts are in the exact same spot. That is the exact same temp texture. I don't even need to open this because I know it's mine, but I will. Let's see how they did. Okay, let's open that up. These houses here, I drew all these roads and houses by myself not individually, I drew them and then I copied and pasted and I had to draw quite a few. This section here took me hours upon hours of work to get in there so that you guys could have your templates for free. This guy takes those hours and hours of work of mine, which I did not get paid for, and he, he just steals it. So again, this one's mine, this one's theirs. Um, the texture is mine and they also sent me this file or uh, image of this file, I believe. And it wasn't the one that they're selling. They lied to me just flat out. Okay, let's see, what's this? Oh, this is the chocolate frog box. Here's mine right here. Um, mine is unique. This one is a little bit warped and it's been sitting on my shelf forever. But my box is unique when it comes to the template compared to everybody else's, not only because I use the gold on the inside, but also because it is a replica of the movie box, which has a flat bottom and opens up like this. Whereas uh, a lot of the other ones are based off of the uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter ones that you can buy, where it actually, the bottom is, is actually a box part and the top folds into it. So yeah, that's, you can definitely tell that his is like that as well. Let's see, it is not actually folded into a box yet. So, and there are no instructions. There's gold right there on the inside, which is fine, whatever. Um, we've got this pole drawstring. Oh, I see, I see. So it, it folds in like this, I, I get what's going on. And that's exactly how I make mine and how I go through it on the tutorial, how to make it. Um, you can see it's even uh, triangular I don't know if you can see, but it's folded in triangular parts like that, exactly like this. Um, let's let's compare this. It's a little harder to tell on this one, but let's see, because there's no textures. Exactly the same. So this person is definitely using my template for the chocolate box or chocolate frog box as well. Man, 
I was hoping at least one of these would be, they wouldn't be lying about. So I have a little bit of hope for this one because this is not my design. Uh, this is the original Mina Lima movie replica. Let's open this up. And here is mine. So as you can see, this is how I can tell because for one, I drew this guy, I, I redrew this guy. So I can, I can, you can kind of see the differences if you look close enough. And also I changed the articles on some of these because I wanted the articles to match what's actually inside. But if you open mine up, you see it opens up to an Ollivander's full page ad. Let's see what happens here. Oh, look at that. I made this ad as well. So you're not gonna find this anywhere else but in my quibbler. So they've at least stolen that page. I'm gonna guess the entire interior is mine. Let's see. These are replica pages, so it might be hard to tell. So I'm just gonna, you know, skip over. Actually, no, it won't be hard to tell because the articles are different. Let's see. Oh, yep. Yes. Yeah, they just totally stole the inside. They totally, completely ripped off the inside. And again, some of these articles were written by other people. They took out the DeviantArt link that I left for the, peop for the person who wrote these, um, redesigned and edited by Danny at MuggleMagic.net. Um, they took that out youtube.com slash muggle magic removed that as well put this little lame separator thing in here they removed all the credits for people in here and they removed my stuff it says all other content created and written by danny at muggle magic and it has a link to my youtube channel they removed that realized by la posta del bufo so they're pretending that they did this. All they did was uh, use a different cover. Like that's all they did. The entire inside is mine. Uh, not surprising, but still, man, this is, it stings a little to see somebody doing this on, on such a large scale, just, and lying to me about it. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Okay, this looks a little different. I think this is gonna be the Weasley thing. Yeah, here we go. So this does look a little different. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Yes, the textures here are different. I'm feeling a little hopeful about this one. I hope, my hope is that they, you know, designed it themselves, but obviously these people don't do that. Okay, yeah, so this is not mine. Definitely not. Okay, so it looks like, hmm. That Wonder Witch one, that looks a little... No, okay, it's different. It's totally... Yeah, it's different. Okay. And... Oh, wait. I think... You know what? I think this is mine. <laughs> Look at the texture here on that W. And right there. Like I said, I do all my own textures. That's what, part of the re reason why everything I do has a little bit of a texture to it. Because then I know if people are stealing from me or not. So yeah, they took my box template and slapped it in the back of this Weasley ca uh, catalog. But other than that, this one, surprisingly, is not using mine. What have we got next? Oh, this looks familiar. The texture here is exactly the same. Their colors are a little bit different because they used a different type of printer. Printers don't always print the same exact uh, shades of colors and stuff. But let's see. Oh yeah. Yep, it has my texture and the writing in the background here, definitely, because I put that writing in there. I, it's it's a default Latin text that I pasted into there. So, and the font that I used, that's not the same font or even words that were used in the movie prop. 
So yeah, this guy took that from me and even put in this, which I designed in the back. This one, this is my design right here. Yeah, they just copied every, this is mine right here too. They just copied everything. Let's see, as you can see, look at that. They just copied everything. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we've got. Oh, here we go. This one, I'm thinking it's pretty small. I don't think this one, this one might not be using my template, but let's see. The back is different, completely different, but there's gonna be an easy way to tell here. Whoa, that is not correct. And uh, it's ugly. It's supposed to look just like this, but okay. So, so far it's a, it's a bit different. Let's see what's going on. Let's see if we can find a page that matches. It looks like they may have reorganized some of this stuff too. Yeah, okay. So they did change that bit. Although I think they probably took this from a different artist. I'm gonna see if I can find one that matches because I don't think this is their work. I don't think this is their work. And let's see, is this my page? Yes, this one is my page. I know because I hand drew this, this symbol right here. At the time, I didn't know the source of that symbol. And that's my hand drawn symbol there. Um, yeah, they, they 100%. This page is mine. The cover. Oh, well, look at that. It's cheap too. The staple just like broke on me right there. So it's not only is it ripping off artists, it's also cheap quality. So here's their Borgen and Burks looks a little bit different. Um, this one was labeled as Oregon and Burke's catalog, Tom Riddle's copy. And that was actually something of my own, from my own imagination. Um, as you can see, I put uh, handwritten notes here. It says 1961. Um, this one doesn't appear to have that. Yeah, but here we go. Let's see. They took out the and symbol and wrote and right there. And they're, they're definitely using my templates. They're just, he just uh, kind of modified it a little bit. Let's see if we can find match. Yeah, def I mean, this one, I, I put that one there. It's the same here, so, and so is this. This is the same there, that's the same. They swapped things as if that's gonna make a big difference. Look, they swapped this image and put it over here. And then they uh, swap the skulls out for different skulls right there. But the, I mean, the skulls are right there. But yeah, they just kind of moved things around a little bit. Oh, look at that. They even took my Beyond the Darkest Art book cover that I designed for Accio Box, which I put in mine, and they put it here, but they just added some little like locks and things to it. But that is my book cover that I designed for Accio Box right there. So they, th this is something that a lot of people do. When I find them selling my stuff, they ask me, well, what about you? Have you been reported? I don't sell any of this stuff. The stuff I sell on my Etsy shop is 100% original creations by me, original designs, not replicas. This is all from my imagination and my artwork that I saw in my Etsy shop. So it's just a really stupid thing to come back with. And then they tried to tell me that they, had, they didn't know that it was against the law to sell someone else's artwork. And after he told me that he deactivated the listings, I went to his shop and they're all still up. There was like three of them that were down, but the other 17 <laughs> were still there. And so he never, responded to me after that. So I reported him to Warner Brothers and the next day his shop went down. So I, I can only assume that Warner Brothers did that. 
But then a week later, he had a few listings up. And then the next day there were a few more. So he kind of gradually put some more stuff back up again. At that point, I reached back out to him and I said, did you get things sorted out with Warner Brothers? It looks to me like you're still selling items made with my templates because the thumbnails were still my items, my work. And he says, hi Danny, yes, but I still can't figure out what they are. I drew everything all over again, moving away from your models that I double checked. If you need, I'll show you my uh, PSDs too, his Photoshop documents. And I said, what does the inside of your Borgen and Burks catalog look like? And he sent me this image, which he just ripped off from Worth Point. It's not even his photo. Believe me, it wasn't our intention to copy your work. We made a selection of the images we liked most. Well, that's still not okay. You can't just browse the internet and say, oh, I like this artwork. Oh, I like that so much. I'm gonna sell it on Etsy. And then I asked him about the quibblers and he sent me this image and this image. There's no way this person doesn't know they're lying because I ordered both of their quibblers and the interior is all from my replicas. Every single page and the pages they sent me are nowhere to be found. And then he said, oh, but I don't have all the, the, the pages for the quibbler because in Italy it's nighttime right now and we don't have a PC. And then I asked him about the Quidditch campsite map because I was, uh, I was pretty uh, suspicious about this one too. He uh, sent me a couple of links to Google searches, a Google image search for the Quidditch campsite map. And unfortunately, no, he can't trace anything back to the actual source. Um, he downloaded them just from DeviantArt and he, there's no possible way he can find those exact same ones again. And I told him, <laughs> you probably shouldn't be randomly grabbing other people's art online and selling it. Very shady business. Just a little advice for you. Regardless of if it's my art or not, you didn't design it. So either way, you're stealing someone else's hard work. And then I asked him about the other Quibbler pages. And he sent me these. All of which are not in the quibblers that he sells. At this point, you can probably uh, guess what's, what's happening because there's a, a repeating pattern here. He's obviously lying to me, showing me different images, but then still selling my templates. Let's continue on. He says, thank you, Danny. I'm really sorry with all my heart. I met you the moment you wrote me. I'm going to rework what you told me to be your job. So he's, he's telling me he's going to just, he, I'm gonna design them myself. I'm so sorry. Thank you for pointing this out. I didn't know who you were until you messaged me, which is obviously not true. He also said, I didn't imagine there were all these iron rules on selling on Etsy, to which I responded, these aren't rules on Etsy. You're downloading someone else's art and then selling it yourself. That's called theft. It's illegal everywhere. And then he had the audacity to ask me if, if I'd be willing to um, do a sponsorship with him where he would send me some of his products, like a go this golden egg or something he was gonna do, and um, I could review it on my YouTube channel. Obviously I said no. What the heck was this guy thinking? And that's the last I heard from this Etsy seller. Uh, their shop is now down. They're on vacation, it says, and he said there's a note there where the shop owner says that he's working on new projects, probably trying to find new artwork on Pinterest and DeviantArt so he can resell it, steal it from other artists. I'm sure that's what he's doing right now, just gathering up as, as much of other people's artwork as he can. This type of person does not deserve your money or anyone else's. If he wants to earn money, I think he needs to just go get a job somewhere. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And um, hopefully this video helps people understand that it's not okay to lie and steal someone else's artwork. You're going to get caught. And now everybody who watches this video is going to know how horrible of a person you are. Not you watching unless you're doing this. I'm just saying the people doing this. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.